वेलकम टू आस एम दुर्गेश कुमार पांडे क्लास आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अ चैप्टर इन क्लास ट्वेल्व एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज चैलेंजेस ऑफ नेशन बिल्डिंग क्लास इंडिया वॉज गॉट द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑन फिफ्टीन अगस्त नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन एंड इंडिया वॉज गॉट द इंडिपेंडेंस and partition uh, independence come with the partition class on the midnight of 14 and 15 august our prime minister pandit jawaharlal nehru was addressing the nation and constituent assembly and he was giving his famous speech the test with the destiny and he was addressing the nation class during the national movements uh, there is a common concerns there was a common concerns among the political leaders ki when india was got the independence so india should be ruled in a democratic measures and the second thing ki uh, welfare of uh, disadvantaged groups should be ensured so these two points are common concerns among the freedom fighters and india was got the independence and after the independence we have a three challenges first challenge is to shape a nation for nation second challenge is class to establish democracy third challenge is class to ensure the well being of all. ensure the well being to ensure the development and well being of all to ensure the development and well being to ensure the development and well being these are the three challenges for a newly independent country of india and uh, the first challenge is to shape a nation this was the biggest challenge because uh, in historically india was ruled by rajas and nawab but under the british rule india was introduced about the parliamentary form of government and democratic measures so after india our leaders after the independence our leaders were decided that india should be run in a democratic measures and country use a parliamentary form of government class the first challenge is to shape a nation because uh, after the independence uh, uh, yeah, during the process of independence there are 565 princely states and uh, in india was a multi religious multi linguistic multi cultural country india was a diverse country to convince uh, the rajas and nawabs to convince the different diverse group in a single unity a single union it was a very difficult task so india chosen first uh, taking the uh, step key to shape a nation 
to make a nation uh, to united uh, india is a diverse country to make this diverse country matlab uh, establish a unity among the diversity this was the first challenge to convince different type of the uh, cultural peoples linguistic peoples religious peoples in a one nation and it was a very tough difficult task but uh, our uh, first deputy prime minister sardar vallabh bhai patel was taking the this responsibility he was uh, convincing rajas and nawab uh, to come to india and uh, many times uh, sardar vallabh bhai patel was uh, trying to convince sometime he gave the some autonomy to some state and sometimes uh, he was using threats or some ultimately uh, the indian government also uh, indian government was also using the military power to convince the raja and nawabs to come uh, in the union territory class class uh, second challenge is to establish a democracy class uh, uh, you know historically india was ruled by rajas and nawab and these rajas and nawabs uh, are uh, in from the different uh, cultural religions to but uh, during the colonial uh, period we will learn uh, we will learn about the uh, democratic measures parliamentary form of government uh, right to vote is available for everyone so uh, second uh, challenges was ki how we establish a democracy because during the colonial period we learn many thing from the britishers and we also experience about the parliamentary form of government right to vote and uh, rule of people uh, rule of law so after the independent india was decided ki india uh, will also going to choose the path of democracy and uh, many western countries were saying ki india is a poor country illiterate country and democracy is only possible in those country where where the literacy and uh, the country is prosperous but india was choosing the toughest past and india was india was established the election commission and successfully organized the election of uh, india class so we were, we were, we were choosing the toughest past and organized the election uh, so from today we are uh, organized many elections as a national level state level and local level and uh, successfully establish democracy and ensure the participation of people in a uh, democracy class class uh, the third challenge is to ensure the development and well being of entire society the third challenge is class uh, ki after the independent how we ensure the economic development of india class we were know that ki india was exploited by the britishers before the coming of britishers india was known as a prosperous country but when britishers were were now leaving our india india was economically ruined so we have a challenge ki how we ensure the economic development of a country and also we ensure the well well being of the uh, weaker section of society and uh, disadvantaged group of society so these are uh, the challenges for us class ki how we ensure the development of development and well being of entire society of well being of entire society we 
ensure the development and well-being of entire society. Class, you know, India is historically uh, facing so many social level like Balwiwa, uh, uh, child marriages, widow, uh, the condition of widows, and uh, so many social level like castes. So uh, after the independence, uh, we we will also be ensure that how after the independence we eliminate this problem. Uh, how we uh, establish justice in a society. How we ensure the uh, well-being of civil caste, civil diverse, and other disadvantaged people who are living in in a country. So these are the three challenges for us. For making a nation building, okay, class. Class on thirteen to fifteen August, nineteen forty-seven. India was going to divide into two countries, India and Pakistan. Uh, two nation theory, which was advanced by the Muslim League. Uh, according to this, India, uh, India is not a People of Hindu, but there is a people of two types: so, uh, Muslims and non-Muslims. So, for Muslims, they demand a separate Pakistan, and rest is remain with the Hindustan. So, the partition was happen according to religious majority. Those people are Hindu. And there was a fixed knowledge of. So, partition was based on the religious majority. The Muslim majority area was going for Pakistan and rest with the India class. So, according to T two nation theory, India was divided into. British India is divided into India and Pakistan. Uh, class, uh, uh, there is uh, some problem in the partition uh, because uh, we we were following the principle of uh, religious majority for the partition. So, class, uh, uh, there is uh, some problem in the partition. First of all, uh, there was a uh, not a clear area uh, which is uh, Muslim. Majority, but uh, after a survey, uh, it will it was find that uh, the eastern uh, uh, British India and the western British India is the uh, part where Muslims are in the majority. So it it was decided that these two area were going to become a Pakistan as a eastern Pakistan and western Pakistan. But uh, our <laughs> So, class first problem in the partition is that there is no uh, defined area for the Muslims. Muslims, uh, but it was find that in eastern and western part, uh, Muslims are majority. But the second problem was in the partition is that all the Muslim majority area were not ready to go with the Pakistan. Like North Western Frontier regions, their uh, undisputed leader Khan Abdul Ghaffar Khan was not uh, agree upon the merger of uh, uh, North Western Frontier of Pakistan with the Pakistan. He remained with the Hindus. So, but uh, his voice was ignored, and. Uh, This is second problem. Third problem is that uh, the peoples of my minority of both the community, because in India uh, many uh, Muslims are in the minority. In the same time, India there are many many uh, like in the Pakistan many were uh, minors, so they were forced to leave their house and land. From Pakistan and joined to India. 
फोर्थ एरिया के लाइक ईस्टर्न एंड वेस्टर्न पाकिस्तान विच वे विच वे वे आर गोइंग टू बिकम अ पाकिस्तान सो देर इज अ लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ अदर ग्रुप्स आर इन द मेजोरिटी विच एरिया वॉज डिसाइडेड टू गो इन पाकिस्तान इट वॉज डिसाइडेड कि इन द बोथ रीजन इंडियन पाकिस्तान मेनी अदर्स ग्रुप्स आर ऑल्सो इन द मेजोरिटी द एरिया विच वे आर गोइंग टू मेक अ पाकिस्तान वे आर मुस्लिम देर नॉन मुस्लिम लाइक सिख एंड हिंदूज आर इन द मेजोरिटी एंड सिमिलरली इन द वेस्टर्न पाकिस्तान मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लेसिस हिंदू सिख एंड पारसीज एंड ईसाई आर इन द मेजोरिटी सो देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम सो दीज प्रॉब्लम्स आर कमिंग ड्यूरिंग द पार्टीशन एंड द माइनॉरिटी ऑफ बोध कम्युनिटी वेर ट्रैप्ड बिकॉज ऑन द डे वेन इट वॉज डिक्लेयर कि इट इज इन पाकिस्तान द पीपल्स वेर नॉट नो अबाउट देयर पॉसिबल पोजिशन सो देर गोइंग India are remain with the India. They are going to Pakistan or remain in India. So it was a very uh, difficult circumstances. People here were moving from one place to another place by on foot, and uh, these refugees were the refugees are going to. place and uh, they are set up in other places next topic is class the consequences of partition class uh, what is the consequences of partition uh, class uh, the area like uh, lahore kolkata and amritsar was converted in a communal uh, zone when the minorities like hindu which was coming from pakistan to india in the past they were looted and uh, targeted and uh, they were uh, face the communal violence and 5 uh, to 10 lakhs people were lost their life in their communal problem and 80 lakhs people were migrated this was the largest migration in the world class so uh, the consequences of partition uh, he when uh, women were abducted by a doctor from both side and women were enforced to marry in the family of a doctor and children were lost their parents and many families were decided to be for the for honor the take the path of suicide because many fathers giving poison to their daughter for the for their family respect and uh, both the and same situation is in india the muslims who are living in the delhi side were also targeted uh, in response of uh, uh, pakistan and uh, muslims were also facing you look the movie of hakeekat the name of the movie is a new book garam hawa where the sameen mirza was a man uh, traders how he affected uh, with the partition so uh, partition also affect the muslims who are living in india in class class in the partition everything is divided into india and pakistan chair table railway staff 
and uh, into uh, every administrative uh, articles were divided into India and Pakistan. Uh, and uh, on those days, uh, writers, poets, filmmakers were uh, write down the incidents happened during the partition class. And uh, when the Muslims were uh, leaving our country, 12% Muslims were decided to leave, decided to leave in India. And uh, Was, uh, when uh, Muslims were uh, leave our country, uh, the 12% of Muslims still remain with India. Uh, it was thought that if Muslims were leaving our country, to Hindustan become Hindu nation. Or uh, freedom fighter like Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru or Mahatma Gandhi was decided that India uh, should be run according to democratic measures. And, uh, After leaving the Muslims in our country, uh, the 12% of the population were still a Muslim remain uh, with India. And uh, other like a Sikh, Christians, uh, Jains, Buddhists, Parsis and Jewels are the, some other um, groups who are in minority in our country. Several is protected for our government. Our leader uh, was saying India should be remain a secular country. We have no official religion. All the religions are equally respected. So India chosen the path of uh, next stop in this class integration of princely state. Um, class uh, 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 during the British ruler, uh, there was a uh, two territory. Uh, one is provincial state, and the second is the princely state. So, Provincial state was directly under the control of state, but uh, these princely rulers were come into uh, these uh, princely states. And the second is the princely state, 565 princely state in our country. So, and uh, to convince such a rajas and nabobs. Uh, because the paramountcy of Britishers was ended and Rajas and Nawabs are free to join India, Pakistan or remain independent. Uh, to, uh, our first, prime, first Deputy Prime Minister Sardar Bhai Patel was taking the responsibility. So, um, to convince such Rajas and Nawabs in trade, it was a difficult task taken by the Sardar Rala Bhai Patel. But uh, till uh, independence, the four uh, rulers like uh, Nizam of Hyderabad and Raja Hari Singh from Jammu and Kashmir and the ruler of uh, J uh, Hari Singh from uh, uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Nizam of Hyderabad and ruler of uh, uh, Junagadh and also are uh, not ready to join India. They want to and uh, Manipur, ruler of Manipur, Raja Bhoj Chandra Singh. They were not ready uh, to merge, fully merge with India. They want to remain uh, independent. Uh, they want to remain independent. Ruler of uh, Junagadh want to remain independent class. 